how do I improve lighting approximation in the viewport while working? There's a few ways to do this. You'll notice that when you first start off with your model lit inside of a scene, sometimes you can't see the result of your lighting, like say on a ground plane. And there's a couple of ways to go about fixing this. The first and foremost, kind of the, the easiest way, is just to turn on high quality rendering under your render or menu. And you'll notice that suddenly you get some nice, uh, in this case, spotlight lighting down beneath. But this isn't always available for all video cards. Some video cards don't support this feature. So another way to go about it, if we go ahead and turn this off, is to take whatever your base geometry is down beneath and turn up its tessellation. Basically give it some more vertices because this is vertex based lighting that you see here inside the viewport. So if I take my subdivisions width and crank it up to say, well, let's go really high, something like 200 by 200. Now if I deselect, you can see a much clearer approximation of that lighting below. Now a second ago, you saw no approximation whatsoever. So what I'm going to do is set this back down to one by one and we'll use the virtual slider to steadily bring this up. And you'll notice as I do, that lighting gets sharper and sharper until eventually you can start making out those light cones. Of course, please don't forget if you use this technique and you get ready to render, make sure that you set your geometry back to a low res if you don't need it to be that high res because once again, this lighting is an approximation in the viewport of what you're going to see when you do the actual render. That's Just right. an approximation. There is no reason for Zach to render this out with the ground plane being at 200 by 200 because all that's going to do is cause longer render times when we can get the exact same result with having it set to one by one for the ground plane here and then do the render. And of course, another option would just be to have temporary geometry that you use inside the viewport to show where your lighting is going to go that you can, of course, kill out at render time.